See you, Luna. What's going on, guys? It's supposed to be minus 35 this week, which is fun. So I actually moved houses at the beginning of January. First time living on my own, pretty excited about it. I'm actually living with my girlfriend and my dog. So we're heading home right now to the old home to pick up a couple things, specifically the carbon supplies. So I gotta grab my resins, vacuum pump, vacuum bagging, and then we can also check up on the Supra because my Supra is still staying at my dad's place. It's already in the garage and it's broken and I don't wanna transport it during winter. But the R32 will be coming to this house pretty soon here. God damn! Sometimes I forget I have this thing. I'm probably gonna be removing the livery pretty soon. Kinda wanna change it up this year. Always mixing things up. Some super stuff coming soon. Get these things out of the cold. I shouldn't have left them in here. All right, so real quick before my hands get frostbite, uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an update on the Supra. 5 looking nice. I'll show you the engine. Supra's gonna be getting some cosmetic mods, performance mods, but most of all, a new timing belt. Battery's gonna die on the camera, but this thing is fucked. I'll explain more in a little bit. So today's the day I'm gonna be bringing my Skyline back to my new place. Uh, it currently has a flat tire, so I gotta swap the tire and then charge the battery and somehow try to drive it in this snow to my place on summer tires. Should be a fun challenge. Alright, so I got the Skyline running thanks to Alex's Stegia for boosting it. By the way, Alex, your car looks like it's leaking some oil. Kind of letting the Skyline charge for a little bit since it hasn't been ran in a long time. Uh, then we're gonna pull it inside, swap that front tire, and then we'll be taking this thing home today. Hopefully this holds enough air to make it home. This thing needs a wash really, really badly. And I actually noticed it got some scuffs while it was parked. But no worries, I'm planning to paint this thing anyways. It's all part of the bigger picture. First time driving with the new Vertex steering wheel and first time seeing these carbon A pillars in daylight. I'm actually gonna be skinning Charles' uh, B pillars and I'll show you guys how much I've improved already. It's been a while since I've driven a stance car. Jesus. I already smell burning rubber, so <laughs> it's a good sign. Stance guy's worst nemesis. Okay, that well, 
wasn't too bad. Oh shit, this road is though. Oh my god. We made it, good timing. My girlfriend helped me push the skyline into the garage. So here it is. And here is the new workshop. So we got a nice bench here for doing some carbon layups. Uh, more storage around here, multiple shelves, shelves down low. We also got a shelf over here for a couple other things. I still haven't really organized it and like put things where I want them to go yet. And then over here we got a shelf up there. We got a couple of hangers and racks right here. A nice heater. This thing pumps heat. I'm super stoked on this. This garage is going to be so nice to work in. So we got shelves here. So these shelves is where I'm probably going to have my rolls of carbon and fiberglass. And then I'll probably have some sort of table extend here so I can, you know, roll it out and cut it to the length I need. Then we got a tool bench here, nice slots, uh, another workbench on top there, some cupboards, and then we also have more storage at the back here. So yeah, I'm super pumped on this garage. Uh, it's gonna help me build a lot of stuff for this car, and now that this car is here, I can actually you know, focus on it and, and build this thing, get it ready for the summer. I see my dog. Hi, Luna. Hi. There she is! Hi! How's it going, hey? Eh? How you doing? Ah, ta 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 Who's a good girl, hey? Eh? Sit! You stay. I know, I know. I'll be on in a second, okay? I know. Give me a minute. Boom. Alright. Woo! Super happy this car's finally here. Now I can finish this wing. Almost there, almost there. There's gonna be an update video coming on this pretty soon, kind of how I got it to this point. Anyways guys, I'm starting to put a few tools away and get things organized and kind of put things in place how I want them to be. Get this place ready to start building the skyline. I have a lot of things coming up in February for the R32. Uh, once we finish the wing, that just opens so many doors. I'll be able to build almost anything once I prove that this wing works and I can build a mold from it and actually have a carbon fiber end result. It really just opens up so many other options. From that point, pretty much the sky is the limit. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming up for Infamous. Uh, I'm gonna try to film a lot of it and make a lot of content for you guys as well. It'll be fun to track the progress of the R32 as it undergoes a lot of changes. I want this car to be full on Infamous demo car within the next few months, hopefully. Uh, I've already got a new set of wheels in the works for the R32, so stay tuned for that. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out the podcast. We are now on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Those are some big goals for us and they're already out of the way. Thank you guys for the endless support and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.